Kaiser. Can't throw the ball better than that. Sensational throw. An absolute master. How good is Deshaun Kaiser? Deshaun Kaiser, quarterback, Cleveland Browns. The best thing about being in the NFL now is simply making this my job and spending all the time I possibly can studying. There's no other responsibilities other than uh, going into that facility and doing whatever I can to become a better player. Someone I'm really looking forward to playing against has been Roethlisberger. My whole career I've been trying to show the grit and the toughness that he has playing in our division. And uh, so if I can go up against him and, and try to show that same toughness against him, I can't wait to battle it out. The veteran on the team that I'm most looking forward to learning from is Joe Thomas. He's a unicorn in the sense that he's played 10 seasons with, without missing one snap. He understands what it takes to be successful, so if we can all learn from him. The ultimate goal of training camp would just be to learn as much as I possibly can as quickly as I can. You know, there's veterans within that locker room who expect a lot out of the quarterback position, then hopefully I'll be in a better position to perform the way that those veterans expect me to perform. Deshaun Kaiser versus Brock Osweiler and Cody Kessler. Next, on the skill. Boop. Hold on. Before I say the boy, Kenny Britt, you tripping. All right? Now I'm good. Wait till you hear what this guy got to say. Boy! <laughs> Welcome to another exciting episode of Skill. I'm your host, King Cooper J, and today we're going to be talking about Deshaun Kaiser versus Cody Kessler versus Brock Osweiler. Let's get to the Browns. You played with the Browns. You were there. You know how badly they are looking for a savior at quarterback. They drafted Deshaun Kaiser in the second round. Is he the savior, Bruce? I think it's a great pick by them. You know, Nate, I heard you talking about the Browns yesterday, what, winning eight games, and you kind of backpedaled a little, said seven. <laughs> I was with you. Man. I was with you, too. I think they're going to go seven and nine. Um, I don't know if Cody Kessler's the guy to get him there, but I like the pick in Deshaun Kaiser. Number one, because I like Hugh Jackson. I played with Hugh Jackson in Oakland, in Cincy, and the guy is good. He's about mentality. You know, it's about winning now. It's not about, you know, you know, of course it's about fundamentals, but at the end of the day, you have to grab that locker room. You have to grab that huddle yeah. and show those guys that you're in it with them yeah. and you're going to lead them. And that's what the Browns need right now. They need a stable quarterback under center through the whole season and knowing who it is going into next year. And that's what they need because this team is on the rise. Mm. All right, let's get into it. For those who don't know anything or what's going on with this situation at all, okay, there's a controversy out in Cleveland with the quarterback position, all right? So they draft the guy, Deshaun Kaiser, in the second round of the NFL draft in 2017. They took Miles Garrett first, number one, which was excellent, and then they really shook the game up by drafting Deshaun Kaiser in the second round. Now, Deshaun Kaiser, he's out of the University of Notre Dame. He was coached by Brian Kelly. Um, he didn't have the best season last year. Some can say they blamed it on some of the players that went off to the NFL. Players like T.J. Posice, he plays for Seattle now. And then you have like Will Fuller, who plays for the Houston Texans. So they did lose some guys. But with that being said, Deshaun Kaiser, he's really nice. He has a cannon for an arm. It's not better than Patrick Mahomes, in my opinion. But yes, he does have a cannon. I think he's the best in the red zone as far as all these players because he's uh roughly 6'4 240 pounds they, all these guys are roughly around the same size but um deshaun kaiser ha has them by yeah he have them by he got them by with him but um anyway with that being said you got brock osweiler out there in training camp he's from denver then he went to houston and now he winds up with cleveland so they are in desperate need of a quarterback now you go to cody kester he was there last year he was rookie he did all right he did all right but i mean he got hurt so it kind of you know weighed on his performance a little bit but anyway when coach from jackson arrived he said that um he's not going to hold that against him Co um, cody kester did get to start in training camp but hugh jackson did say that Whoever starts in training camp uh, the first game or so, that doesn't mean that they will be the season opening starter for the NFL season. So, with that being said, let's get into some of this training camp stuff. Check them out. 
as a competitor, you always have to go in the mindset of, of you know, being the starter, you know, at any position. Um, but at the same time, you know, you're still learning from those guys around you. Um, but, yeah, we come out here and compete every day. You know, me, Kevin, Brock, um, Deshaun. It's, it's fun when you have guys that are, you know, really talented at that position you get to compete against because it makes you better as a player. Um, but, yeah, I mean, even if, like I said last year as a rookie, you know, even if you're not or doesn't work out that way, you still got to prepare as a starter. You know, every single practice, every single meeting, um, even the games. I've been in the league a little bit lo longer than the other guys. Um, but at the end of the day, that means nothing. Um, every quarterback that's in that room is very talented, very smart. Um, I think every single buddy in there works extremely hard, um, trying to perfect their craft, trying to clean up little things every single day. Um, so there's no edge, not an edge, nothing like that. Everybody has their strengths, has their weaknesses, and I think it's going to be a great competition. Now, if, you have to win games, okay? Uh, if you have a, ideally, the quarterback you choose is winning a few games and there's no rush. Uh, but I thought that was the beauty of, of getting Kaiser where they got him, is that you don't feel that internal pressure to get him in there. Not like he was your first or second pick, he was your fourth pick. But it's also incumbent on the guy ahead of him to show some uh, winning performance. Matt, they seem to be very happy with Kaiser. They seem on one day he does this, and on the next day, he does that even better than he did sure. it from the day before. So where do you line up on the overall thinking? I, I, I kind of coincide with what Tony. I'm not, you know, new school, meaning thrust him out there, and I'm not. And I want this guy to earn it. But ultimately, I believe for the, for the Cleveland Browns in this franchise to go from 1-15 and 15 and take the incremental step that we all believe them to take, which is four more wins, five more wins, and get more competitive, we need whichever quarterback gives us the best chance to win. If over the course of those 10 days that Tony talked about, Deshaun Kaiser proves to be consistent, that the guys trust in him, that we can run the football very well with that offensive line, they can protect him, then you go with him, but he's got to earn it. And I think right now, Brock Osweiler is the consistent. We know what Cody Kessler is. And Deshaun Kaiser, if he surprises us, both with consistency and his arm strength, he's going to be the one out there. Well, here's Now, just a little bit more about training camp. Let me fill you in. Let me give you a little bit of information what's been going on with Cleveland. Now, Brock Osweiler still doesn't have it. He messed up in Denver. Well, he did get a ring. My man Peyton Manning, of course. That's right. But um, he messed up out there. He wasn't playing well, even though he did start a couple games when Peyton Manning went down. So he goes, he travels from there. He gets to Houston, $75 million. He sucks there, too, even though he did win the, the division title. Ugh, I hate that because my team is the coach. But anyway, he travels from there whoop, over to Cleveland, and now he's competing for a quarterback job. He hasn't been performing well in training camp. He's been throwing a lot of incomplete passes, and he's inconsistent. We all know that. John Kaiser, he has been kicking a butt. Reporters, insiders, uh, I've been watching all over YouTube, been trying to follow up with this guy, and he's really been kicking a butt in training camp, and I am excited, and I'm happy that uh, Coach Hugh Jackson said that, you know, it does, whoever starts in the training, that doesn't mean that they're going to be opening starters, so he does have the position open, so Cleveland Brown fans get excited because you could possibly see um, Deshaun Kaiser, I think you will because I, I believe Coach Hugh Jackson is on like a two-year contract or something like that, so my opinion, I'm thinking he gonna throw Kaiser out there, you know, and then he's like, okay, it's like this and it's like that, and plus he's been playing well too. He um hit James right over and he hit him right over the middle for like a 28 yard pass, and then he led them down the field for a field goal. He was the only quarterback to move the offense down the field. Brock Osweiler didn't do it. Cody Kessler couldn't do it. Let's see him. Let's see him get out there and play. And then that second year, back to what I was talking about with Hugh Jackson. I believe you're going to play him that first year, you know, try to fill him out, get him that experience. So when he goes in the second year, which should be in the second year of his own contract, I do believe somebody needs to look that up. He might have re-signed, I don't really keep up with Cleveland. So now let's get into some of this crazy talk with Kenny Brent. Now, Kenny Brent has really been wilding out now. If anybody don't know anything about Kenny Brent, he's a wide receiver. He played with Gerald Goff last year. He did, I think, break 1,000 yards. And then uh, he has played with quarterbacks like Vince Young. So he he's kind of used to the rookie quarterback. And he goes out here and say, hey, Sean Kaiser has been playing well. He can be one of the greats one day. What? Uh, he's growing each day. Uh, each day um, from OTAs, I could tell a different person. I, uh, I actually asked him yesterday, has the offense slowed down for him? And he said yes. And I was like, I could, I could tell his He's looking at certain things. He, he's seen defense 
uh, before the snap count. And once he lines up, he knows the certain things that he, he has to do, and, and he's going to be one of the great ones. I was going to let you go, but I got to follow up on something you just said. What's that? You said Kaiser's going to be one of the great ones. Yeah, if he keeps on going. Um, Focus on the track that he's on. To tell you the truth, he, he could be one of the great ones. Uh, he's learning fast, and he got a strong arm. I told you. I told you he's tripping. I told you he's tripping. He said he's going to be one of the great ones. He's tripping. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can't make that prediction because uh, you did play with a couple of rookies in your time. So, with that being said, should they run with Deshaun Kaiser? Should they run with Brock Osweiler? Or do you like Cody Kessler to be the starting quarterback this up? coming NFL season for the Cleveland Browns. Jump in that comment box and let me know what you think. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that like button. Definitely sub and um, see you next time. And if you ain't here to debate, you're here to hate. Peace!